Well, what perinatal hospice does is it actually allows the um, the family uh, psychology. It tells them what psychologists are available, what uh, doctors are available, what clergy is available. It's basically hospice in the womb, not hospice in the traditional uh, building style setting. Um, so there are, there are people there that are going to help this family through the whole process, from the remainder of the pregnancy, yeah. through caring for the child after the child's born, through the probable, sadly, eventual death of the child, and, and even postpartum for the mother and, and the father. So there's psychological help available, doctors available, and we want to make sure that these family family members know that this is out there and this is, this is an option. Does your bill um, mandate that health insurers have to cover the cost of perinatal hospice? There's no specific language in here about insurance companies in particular, but but the uh, basically what it does is it, ta it we're mandating that the state's going to have to provide that information when what is available out there. Mm -hmm. um, so I yeah, it's about information that it yeah. exists and that it's available to the families.